Hi Cliff, so to try to explain what the issue is at the campsite, I've just made this quick diagram here in Photoshop. So at the campsite we have 1.5 bar of pressure, not very much, and 10 litres per minute, which is definitely not enough to run four showers and toilets all at the same time. So we don't have electricity on site, so I figured we could put a little 12 volt pump in here uh, and charge that pump off of a battery which is solar powered now i have a pump here i've used these for years this is out of a cordless jet wash and this is designed to run off of a 12 volt battery now i've adapted this one this is a tool of mine but i i run it off of these two cables and i push them into a 12 volt battery even with this small 12 volt battery here this will run for ages and I use this to empty tanks and just places where I don't want to be ladling out water I'm, I made this up myself and it's it's a very useful thing what's important is it will not flow past five liters per minute we have to notify the water board if we if we put a pump on that will pump more than 12 liters per minute and crucially 6.5 bar and then it cuts off I found one of these online that cuts off a of five bar very cheap so we have our water come in, we'll put this little pump in line. It doesn't move a lot of water, but what it will do is it will up the pressure to five bar. Now we'll pump that into an accumulator. I've simplified this. There are valves that do various things along the way, but the pump's getting juiced up all the time. The sun is shining because this battery is being recharged. So it should uh, uh, pump this accumulator up. We probably only need to pump this accumulator up if we size it large enough that we'll only have to pump it up once or twice a day. And the good thing is if the pump dies, you will still get this throughput of 10 liters per minute. So that's a constant. Then as it comes through here, this accumulator, accumulators work uh, by using a, a, a balloon of compressed um, either water or air, depends on which way around the, the accumulator is designed. But basically it will uh, use the latent energy that's in the water mains to then boost out a larger flow. So we could expect a flow rate of 20 plus liters, maybe even more 30 liters a minute out of this accumulator. So then the cold will come flying past. Don't worry about the orientation. I've drawn this mixing valve in. I've just, just plonked it there so you can visualize it. So I'll have a cold coming out at much higher pressure. We'll have a cold going into our water heater at much higher pressure, zipping out. Then we'll have a blended supply going up to our shower heads and they'll all be able to run at the same time. Um, we might want to put uh, flow uh, limiting uh, valves in the shower heads ironically after all of this to make sure that our accumulator can run for X amount of minutes uh, before we're back down to the diminished supply of 10 litres per minute. But I have to say 10 litres per minute will definitely be inadequate to run four showers. We would um, even basic showers at the campsite, we need a lot more pressure than that. And this little pump isn't alone is never going to be capable of enough you know five liters per minute that's what this is generating is high pressure low flow which is actually ironically that's the same issue that we have uh, down at um the other cottage uh with the with the water main but that's a completely separate issue but that's how we could overcome it with an accumulator so this is this is the solution i've come up with normally you can buy accumulator pumps that are purpose made but they all run off of 240 volts um, so normally we just fit a bog standard off the shelf accumulator with a pump on the top and, uh, and, and that would resolve the issue, but that's not going to be so easy here. All right, I hope that helps. Cheers.